So your first two films, Easier with Practice and COG, are adapted works. Yeah. For any producers or filmmakers out there who are interested in optioning and adapting an author's work, how, how do they go about it? What are some of the first steps? Um, the first steps is usually if you go to the author's site, you can find agent information or contact. So th this is assuming if you're totally independent, you don't have an agent, you don't have a manager, no one that can sort of inquire these things for you. Um, usually you want to look and see who their reps are. And usually you can find that online. Like that's usually pretty easy. Um, and if they have a Los Angeles, like a talent rep, then you probably want to call them first because they're going to be the people you're going to want to talk to about film rights. Find out where the rights are first and foremost, you know, and then from there, what it really, first of all, you need to get a lawyer at some point on it. Like, that's the most important thing, because I've, I tried to do it without a lawyer once, and it was just wrong. Like, it's just, you just always want, you never want to sign anything, and let, let anything that, where you're putting money into it, or there's some kind of long-term agreement without a lawyer looking it over. Like, you just, everyone knows someone who's a lawyer who can probably, you know, super, I'm not saying you have to pay thousands and thousands for a fancy lawyer, but you definitely don't want to sign an agreement with a writer that you're going to put time and money investment into writing a script and maybe making it to a movie unless someone's approved this initial agreement first. Because um, those things can come back to haunt you. They never have for me. It's always worked out well, but I, I know and I've heard stories and it can happen. You just want a lawyer. That's the, no matter what, you want one. Um, but you know, you want to see how open they are to saying yes. You want to see how, how much money it's going to cost. What, you know, typically I find that where you want you want to be able to talk to the author you know you want to be able to be sincere with your intention of what you want to do with your work and communicate that to them you know so it's uh, you know for for Davy Rothbart that the first first movie was based on he was really interested in film and this was a magazine article he wrote but it was part of his life and Getting in touch with them is a little bit easier, but I also went through like a friend who was at an agency so that I didn't have any agents, but I had a friend call who was working at an agency, so it seemed a little bit more formal just to get into the door. You know, you want to try to pull any kind of tricks like that you can. Not lying to people or anything, but just if you have a friend with any kind of access like that or a friend who works at an agency or someone who could do you a favor and make at least an initial call. They don't need to say they're repping you, but you know, just always try to find the, any kind of back channels in. Um, but then in addition to that, try to get in touch with the author, you know, try to, well, not directly, I think, try to do the formal channels first, you know, that's what you always want to do, you want to be respectful first, and if they put you in touch, so like Davy's agent put me in touch with him, and we got on the phone, and I told him why I wanted to make this into a film, and why I liked the story, and, um, and he said yes, and there was some money negotiated, but, you know, it was, it was, it was relatively reasonable, you know, I mean, you can, you can make things work with people. Obviously, with David, and that this was from a published work, from, you know, it wasn't a magazine article, it was in a very popular book, it was, it was a little bit more, it was way more complicated, and, and just by its sheer nature, a little bit more costly, because you're setting precedent and you're doing things like that. So it was, it was difficult um, in a lot of ways, even though everyone, you know, David wanted me to do it and I wanted to do it, there's still agents and there's still contracts and there's still things that just naturally, they're always, it's always complicated, even when everyone's amicable, there's always a lot, because you're figuring things out, and this is, you think about David and his rights, and it was really important to me, and I always advocated for this too, is like, I just wanted this story. I didn't, well, you know, when he writes, both people, they, they write about their own life experiences. So you think about how complicated those legal rights have to be to make sure that you're not optioning. They, of course, can't have to give you the option to all of their life. You know, it's only this one piece, you know, and so it's, oh, it's, it can just get complicated depending on what the nature of it is. But I think it's about, you know, being realistic, knowing the writer, who's adopted them before, adapted them before, but also being ambitious. Had I, everyone was telling me no about David. Everyone was saying, he doesn't say yes, this is too, it's too big, you don't have the money, blah, blah, blah. You know, everyone was saying all of those things. And I still went for it and it still worked out. So I would never say any of this to deter someone, you know, but I would also say that like, Hey, if you want a John, if you want this John Grisham book, like, know that John Grisham has a history of, you know, selling his rights for a lot of money, and maybe there's something really specific. You know, for me, there was something really specific and particular about this story that um, I thought would fit David's sensibility. So I, I felt that. So I mean, if, you, if, if it's someone really famous, but you feel there's something really specific about the way you're approaching the project, I say still go for it. You know, but. Obviously, if you like a courtroom thriller from John Grisham, it's, you know, it's, you, be realistic about it, but also be ambitious. Um, and even if that writer you reach out to, let's say it's like an ebook or something, they don't have any representation, you know, make sure that on their side too that they have lawyers. Make sure everyone's happy and be upfront and better to figure out if there's going to be conflicts before than when you're, you've already finished a film and then suddenly someone has a problem with it. You know, you want to get that stuff out of the way right away. Um, 
But you know, a lot of riders will. They'll either sometimes give free options or really cheap options for just like a year, and then you can update it later. You know, there, there's a lot of ways to go about getting access to material.